Hey, Mike Panaki here. And I just wanted to go through something that we came across yesterday when we were going in and doing some network analysis for a customer. And that was, we were curious, are we having trouble connecting to any of the servers out there on the internet? And what kind of latency is our firewall adding? Is it adding a lot of latency, a little latency? So here we have a trace file of just some traffic going out there across the network. And what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on just our TCP SINs and our SIN acts. So what I'm going to do, and I'm just going to grab that filter. I've already created it. You don't need to watch me type it in. But up here at the top, we're doing a filter where we're saying we're looking for any frame that has a TCP SIN bit set to 1 or where the SIN bit and the ACK bit are set to 1. So what's significant about this? Well, this gives us all of our TCP connections. So we'll see the SIN go out. We'll see the reply or the SIN ACK come back. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. So that's great. Here are all of my connections. In fact, if we just zoom up here to the top and we take a look at one of these, here I sent a TCP SIN out here to Amazon and I got a reply back. And if we take a look at our time here, which I've set to time since previously displayed packet, we can see that that's about 80 milliseconds. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, we could go through and we could try and pick through this trace, but I don't want to pick through this trace. I want to see all of these very easily. So I'm going to come up to my menu and I'm going to go to statistics and conversations. And from here, I'm going to go to TCP. Now, we see a lot of traffic in here. So what I want to do is I want to just reduce this down to those packets that match my display filter. So I'm going to click on Limit to Display Filter. So now what we have are all of our TCP SINs. So here, my machine 10.0.0.182 has sent a SIN to this IP address right here on port 443. So we see one packet coming from my machine out there to that server, and we see one packet coming back. That's our SYNAC. That tells me that I was able to establish a TCP connection with that device. That's fantastic. That's exactly what I want to see. And if we come over here, our duration is the round trip time for that. So if we had a problem where our firewall was significantly delaying packets as we were setting up the connections, we would see some pretty high times in there. So the cool thing here, I can quickly sort to see, do I have any cases where I sent a TCP SYN out, but I didn't get a SYN ACK back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort by this column right here, and I'm so sorting in ascending order. So if I had any bad connections, they would show up right there at the top as a zero. And I don't. Every one of the TCP SYNs I sent out got an ACK back. Now, if I want to see, did I have any connections that took an abnormally long time? I'm going to click on duration and we're going to take a look at that. And we see that, you know, we've got some that are over 100 milliseconds. Right here, we've got this one that took 184 milliseconds. So let's go in and look at that one a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into apply as filter and select it and I'll say between those two devices. So now let's get the conversations out of the way and let's bring back up our trace file here. I'm going to close that and here is just that one conversation. So when we come in here, there's that conversation. I send out my TCP SYN. I get my SYN ACK back. I'm going to come down here into the IP header and I'm kind of curious what my time to live looks like. Well, my time to live right there, boy, that sure looks, that is 40, uh, or my time to live is 40. The odds are good that my time to live probably started out at 64. So if that's the case, this went through 24 hops. That's quite a ways. So here, yeah, we're going quite a ways. In fact, there's a key right there, DE. So this went over to Germany and we needed to get a response back. So that went all the way across the United States and the Atlantic Ocean and came back in 184 milliseconds. That seems pretty reasonable. So this is a way that we can go in and quickly see all of our TCP connections we established. 
see if there were any where we sent a TCP SYN and didn't get a SYN act back, and about what the round trip time of those is. So very quick and easy way to check. In fact, I could even take this filter I've created right here and I can click on my plus button. I can give it a descriptive name. So we'll type, uh, we'll say TCP SYN slash SYN ACK. And I'll hit OK. So now that filters right up there for me. So if I clear that out and I want to go back and quickly apply that again, I can just click on TCP SYN, SYN ACK. It applies it. I come up here to statistics, conversations, TCP, limit to display filter, and there I go. So I hope this helps with your network analysis and we'll see you in a future video. If you haven't already, now's a great time to subscribe to my channel and check out some of the other videos on network troubleshooting.